Hey guys, what's up? By Sectatron here from One Hive Gazette, here with the next round of live action, and we are in CWL against Terps Win Big. This is the first uh, first round, first week of CWL premiere. Uh, Genesis looking to get going early and get a win here. Get us on the right course of action very early in this war. They've attacked quite a bit more. Um, you can see we are two for two on three stars with uh, two uh, t attacks on the Town Hall 9s for a total of six stars. And they have uh, been relatively successful getting mostly three stars, about half and half. Uh, so we should go ahead and uh, see a lot more Town Hall 9 attacks. I will just hang out and see what uh, attacks I can catch from the CWL matchup. Be right back. All right, and we are in. Let's see, we got seven going in here. Uh, let's let everyone know I'm in because I've been struggling lately. I actually missed one attack that already went on. Um, wasn't able to get in quick enough, but this one we are in for. This is a hog attack, a mass hog attack actually. Has three healers. Um, interesting, I'm not sure how he's gonna do this. I'll be sure to try to show the chat a little bit for you guys as uh, it is part of the experience, I guess, of a live uh, event like this one. So dropping down the king, just to clear stuff out, he's not actually supposed to get the queen, I don't think. I guess he'll drop his own queen. Yeah, there she goes. Should get some great value, actually. And there are the healers, only three of them. I guess he just plans on using the ability right here. Yeah, that rage was way too late. If he wanted to use the rage for that area, he had to have gotten it down way earlier. Um, kind of a waste, because I think the ability on its own would have been plenty. You can see at this point, there's no damage on her. So, kind of a wasted rage, unfortunately. But, um, Queen is alive, which is the most important part. And she's uh, going to continue on her walk. Uh, the three healers is kind of interesting. I'm not sure why. I guess he's not in, um, expecting her to take a whole lot of damage uh, beyond that initial compartment. Let's see, we got the CC troops coming out. They might be an issue with no rage and no ability... But it's going to be, okay, all goblins and one baby dragon. A good wizard there. If you're queen, if you can't afford to drop a rage or you don't have one, the uh, a wizard can be a good touch to kind of help get the CC troops down quicker, help your queen out. But um, queen stepping up. Here come some hogs on the left side here. Uh, drop in about a third, half of them. Yeah, coming in. Uh, heal for them. Good heal gets the giant bomb covered. Uh, another giant bomb actually. So good heal placement gets all that covered. The hog is continuing on, sending more in on each defense pretty much. Has a CC, which I bet has those level 7 hogs in it. Now time's going to be an issue because it took took quite a while for his queen to get hit, her uh, responsibilities taken out. The base isn't even done in terms of defenses. There's only 45 seconds left. So as these max hogs come in from the CC, it's safe to say this base will be destroyed in terms of defenses. But I don't... Uh, yeah, I, I think there's too much base. He's not going to get this. No, this one is going to be like a 75 to 80-ish percent two-star. Uh, yeah, she'll get the town hall, but that does not matter at all pretty much in this context. Nice try. Uh, we'll give him a nice try here. Just uh, couldn't couldn't get things out quick enough, and sometimes that's the most important part. Uh, but I think the plan's good with a few adjustments and more wizards for cleanup. If you know that uh, you can crush the base, but time's an issue, uh, go a little easier on your like hogs or whatever, your balloons, uh, depending on what it is. Bring some more minions and wizards because it's 78%. Nice try to 7. Not going to get it. Make sure we don't have anything else going on. Yeah, we had one attack happen uh, in between when I talked last. So I will continue to hang out and catch some more attacks for you guys. And here we go. This one is Richie. Actually, I had two attacks going on. I just took the top one. If we, if this one ends quickly or something, we can back out and see the other one too. So kind of a double live attack for you guys. Uh, let's see what do we got going on here. A Tesla farm on the left. Looks like a very wide deployment. A golem all the way at six, and a golem at nine o'clock. And a, there was a Tesla farm that ate up that one golem. Looks like he dropped a few hogs which was a good choice, because if, if you have the Teslas tanked, take advantage of that, drop in some hogs. They got the whole Tesla farm, as, long, uh, as well as a few other defenses taken out. Um, now everything's meeting up right at this little crevice in the base. So things are actually going to work out pretty nicely, I think. I think it was a good investment uh, to get that Tesla farm taken out, something that his hogs won't have to deal with on the backside. Uh, poison a little bit late, 
but no big deal. Queen should take that out. Has the rage. I think he'll use at least one of those heals on his uh, his kill squad. Yeah, there's the heal. Defensive queen uh, should go down as soon as his bowlers and stuff step up. Now, his troops did die pretty quickly. The king went down, lost to quite a few bowlers. The queen was low, but the heal actually will help her get back up as well. Hogs coming in from the right side here. This one looks like a three-star to me with plenty of time and plenty of hogs, I'd say, especially with that heal. The last group coming in to reinforce up the top. Giant Bomb is covered. This one is going to be a three-star awesome attack to Richie. First CWL attack caught live for a three-star on this channel. So cool stuff there. Let's back out and see if we can catch this other one. Safe to say that one's a three-star, but this one is Whiskey Raider. And where are we in this one? Doesn't look like he has a lot of troops left up, but I guess he's still deploying them. Uh, Tesla farm in the middle of the base. Hogs kind of scattered about. The queen walking around. Um, if the hogs can get enough of the middle of the base taken out, he might be able to pull this off because the queen doesn't look like she'll go down. Uh, yeah, but those hogs would die in quickly. Uh, I'm not sure how this setup went, but it looks like he's not going to get this. Uh, has the rage, but it won't matter because um, he'll run out of time, if anything. The defensive king taking care of some of his wizards over there. Nice try to Whiskey Raider. Didn't see the beginning, but um, the middle just didn't shape up how it was planned to, I suppose. And that one balloon won't be able to get anything as it goes down to a double seeking air mine. Uh, so anyway, I guess we will hang out. Looks like we have some woos uh, for the other attack. Okay, next one, uh, going in live. This is a Town Hall 10 versus Town Hall 11. Sorry, I am going to, it'll look weird because I had to, the last attack I recorded, I had to, uh, well, the, uh, someone, it was an error that came up in my phone for my recording. So I, that's going to be a little bit awkward, the cut, last cutaway. But I think the attack was pretty much over when that happened, uh, the Whiskey Raider attack. So a little bit of an awkward transition there. But this one, next one uh, we're catching here is a Town Hall 10 versus 11. Uh, typically, actually, we see bowlers. They've become more popular, so it's kind of interesting to see um, a Valk baby dragon combination. Definitely still can work, and this base, I think, is a good one to choose. Although there's all these black air mines, the seeking air mines on the outside of the base that uh, took out quite a few of his baby dragons. I think he dropped in a Skelly spell. He's doing that on both sides to tank for the baby dragons. An interesting strategy. Um, I guess it can work to tank for those archer towers, at least initially, although once they lock onto a baby dragon, the skeleton spell won't do much because they won't bother uh, targeting it till after the baby dragons are down. Uh, so here come the, looks like he has a CC of bowlers um, to clear some stuff out maybe, make it easier for his Valks. Uh, warden, or the, not the Warden, the uh, Eagle has fired up here, so he has to move quickly, uh, jump, heal. There come the CC troops coming out. He has a Rage, which I assume he'll get down right here. And the Valks should be able to, assuming they're still alive somewhere in there, to get in there between the Town Hall and the CC and really do some damage. Yeah, that Town Hall looks like it's going to... Yep, there it goes. It goes down. Uh, but percentage is the issue. I think he would have gotten this for sure had the Baby Dragons not hit all those Seeking Air Mines. But yeah, that Lava Hound's going to come over. There's too much damage. Uh, not going to get the three star, or the two star rather. Nice try to synergy, just kind of got robbed by those seeking air mines. I will hang out and see if I can catch some more stuff. Alright, so it is the next <clears throat> day here. Uh, two hours, 31 minutes remaining in this war. A lot has happened since I talked last for this video. Uh, you can see here, very close. We've gotten 75 stars as I scrolled through there. They are currently working on our 10s and 11s. I think they have a Town Hall 9 left up. You can see my base right there. Uh, yeah, they did leave a Town Hall 9 up. So they have to worry about that. But aren't the 9s are cleared on our side. Um, and oh, here we go. Uh, like I said, Town Hall 10s and 11s are both being worked on. Uh, there needs to be a few more 2 stars on each side for Town Hall 11s and a few more 3 stars for the Town Hall 10s. That's what's going to shape up the war, of course, and this is just one of those attacks. I believe this is Smog. The account is just kind of some random stuff, but uh, the name is Smog here. Coming at this base, and this actually might be the last attack I can record because I have to, you know, do my own attacks too. 
<laughs> uh, so I'm gonna have to hop off for that and I won't be recording but I at least got one Town Hall 10 v Town Hall 10 which I, I really wanted to do uh, I've been hanging out for a while and uh, just kind of got lucky as soon as I decided to record a little bit of a uh, intro or a update in terms of what's happening someone goes in so anyway uh, you can see here has a little bit of a queen walk just gonna step up take out some of these defenses sends in some wall breakers over by the inferno um, yeah, this, uh, actually this is a good uh, angle he's taking. He'll get the Inferno pretty easily. Might not even have to use the ability here because the Archer Tower goes down. Now the Expo is on or yeah, he might have to pop the ability here. Yeah, especially with the Tusk that just popped. Good, good stuff there. Good decision. Uh, but she will continue. I think she should be uh, okay for at least the immediate remainder of the attack. Uh, there's the Golem, some Bowlers, the King. I guess he'll just come at this base heavy, and he has some balloons cooked up there. Yep, some balloons. We'll see. I think those are for the back end of the base where there's not a whole lot of air coverage. Uh, the queen did go down. Yeah, the queen somehow went down. I think I kind of missed that to a certain extent. You know, it might have been the CC troops. I don't think he got the full lure. I, that might have been it. Uh, but the queen is down. The bowlers going through. They're doing a good job. The king is still up. There's a lot of bowlers in that rage. The balloons are coming through, but there are some air skellies, and those defenses did not go down easily. The balloons really meeting some resistance. All those uh, air skellies definitely being an issue. The inferno is about to crumble, but there's that uh, ring of defenses around that uh, compartment there that's going to take out the rest of his troops. Nice try. Um, tough tough luck there if the queen stayed up i think this would have been a three star the balloons maybe not the best value but uh you know it is what it is nice try there we'll go ahead and wait for him to get some more percentage i'm pretty sure no one else is going in live as the attacks are pretty spread out later in the war but it should be a good finish and like i said this is probably the last i can record i have two attacks to do probably attempting uh some town hall 10 v town hall 10 three stars let's back out for a second yeah no one else is going in live a little more work for us to do, and you guys will surely hear how the war ends. Uh, so just be checking on the channel for later videos. I think that'll do it for this video, though. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys later. But before I hop off, um, a little bit later here, not uh, in the war right now, uh, you guys will hear the results, as I kind of hinted at, in a very special video, my first recap of the entire CWL Premier League. I was uh, I have the privilege of being the CWL Premier YouTuber. I was selected for that, and it's going to be a ton of fun. Very soon, you guys will see the Week One recap. Our war is already over. I'm not going to divulge the results. You guys will have to see it along with how every other clan did in that recap video but be sure to check out power bangs main cwl channel that does the invite uh season now check that out those are the types of videos you guys will see uh pretty much once twice a week so uh be looking forward to that uh thank you guys for watching this video and i'll see you guys soon bye sectatron out